your band, What, has finally arrived at the uh, docks in Chicago, Texas. Uh, you've been contracted to be the lead-in men for Cyndia, the elven pop sensation. She's headlining the uh, Star of Topeka Riverboats uh, four-day cruise. And you guys are basically just going to be the lead-in for her. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically they figure that this way everyone <clears throat> will throw all their stuff at you guys and she'll be clear. So there won't be any bottles left to throw at her. Exactly. So we get a bunch of free bottles. Precisely. And bruises. I'm excited. Yeah, we can recycle them <laughs> yeah. and pay for gas um, money. Yeah, that sounds good. But, you know, in addition to being paid, you're also being comped by, you know, you get a room and all that good stuff on the ship. Hey, room. I'm not bunking with anyone else. You can sleep in the ground. Mm, if I'm not bunking boy. with anyone else, I'm not a very good rock star. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so anyway, uh, you guys have arrived at the docks, like I said, in your van, and, uh... So wait, did we drive up to the docks, or did we, like, float we... down river in the van? Which would you have done? Yes. I probably would have floated down river in the van. I was gonna ask if we could drive the van onto the boat. Oh, is it like a ferry boat? Maybe. Um, there's not, it really doesn't have the storage capacity for a van, but, uh, Joe, pick high or low? Low. Oh, good. Congratulations, you managed to not sink your uh, van floating it down river. Yay, you're not Italian. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that an Oregon Trail joke? No, it's a cruise ship joke. Oh, that was a carnival cruise ship. And the guy was Italian. Oh, well, it's like saying, like, yeah, you're not from a carnival. You what didn't you... ram Italy by accident. <laughs> How about that? There we go. You're Unlike not... Carnival Cruise Lines. <laughs> you're not anyway, the... yeah. so you dock your van at uh, one of the convenient piers. <laughs> um, so, I guess we should go around. What would the audience see as you guys pull up to the pier? Well, uh, who would probably be driving the van? Um, well, let's see. I'm a shapeshifter. Do either of you have ranks in driving? No. <laughs> Do either you have ranks in sailing? You have no water moves, so it's not Yeah, that yeah, no, uh, not really. You have no. wind moves? Yeah. Then it's you. Extend breath. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I guess I've got, I've got detect water. That's how we didn't hit the land. I've been steering with my eyes closed by detecting water. <laughs> so do so I need to sub aiming where you knew there where, was where no I knew water. there wasn't? Yeah, you knew there was. So do, water. do I need to subtract some MP for that, or are we just gonna assume that was like before the adventure started? I would assume you've had time to recover. You'll have okay. had time to recover before your MP matters. Okay, so so we we pull our van up to the pier, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I, I turn off the engine. I jump out, and I grab some lines and start tying it up to the shore uh if one of you guys wants to throw those little uh inflatable bumper things so that we don't like scratch the paint against the dock okay i can awesome. do that yeah. <laughs> except i don't think the paint matters because it looks like this van has seen better days it has written down a river in the river does it have barnacles yet <laughs> yeah, does, uh, barnacle check <laughs> do, uh, um, do we do we hire does someone give me an awareness check <laughs> okay uh, if, which this. which side do i roll you're, you're too busy uh tying it up so it's got to be one of these i okay. probably didn't see it with a nine so <laughs> Oh, I got. Sorry, I didn't roll because John did. I got a two, so I really didn't notice any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as you can tell, the the van is completely barnacle free. If there are barnacles, then shiver me timbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? SpongeBob. Yes. Yeah. By the way, I'm just going to go ahead and assume from here on out that your van is amphibious. Cool. <laughs> awesome. We, so we, we just upgraded our van da, da, without da, da, da. even starting the adventure. All right, next adventure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's up? I rolled that low on the percentile dice, just for the record. <laughs> we won. Yay. We've won the game. All right. So, um, we probably should uh, actually introduce your characters. Okay, so... Uh... So, what is... So, if this were a TV show, what would the basis of what look like? Getting out of the van and tying it up. Basma Baba steps out of the van, ties it up. He's got his awesome leather jacket with leather spikes in the cuffs. Uh, he has a base that is presumably in the van, but he will probably grab it as soon as he is done tying up the van and then, you know, plug it into the nearest amplification system and then strum rhythmically you know, for about three minutes and then do another song. Because uh, that's what bassists do. Uh, he is about six foot five, 180 pounds, and he's an imp. He is left toothed and he has the imp ears and everything. Okay. Big red imp eyes. So, by the way, Joe, I'm going to need to use a rope check from you if you're the one, since I just realized okay. you're the one tying the van off. Okay, I have it. 
two in for my ability modifier. Good luck. So I roll a d20. Yes. Yeah. And I got a five. Oh, God. So, all right. Duly noted. Oh, this might come up when we're down river. <laughs> so, while you're, um... So while you're tying the, you know the uh, boat off, <laughs> the drummer gets out and is inspecting the van for barnacles. Yes. So what also is the Also to party find my, my drumstick bag, which has somehow gone missing. I feel this is Boss's fault. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Boss Mobaba. So I am Lanka Tarka, and you can just call me Link because it's easier. Uh, and I am an Elark. I stand six foot tall. I don't care to tell you about my weight because you don't care. He has an afro and a headband, and he's wearing just a vest, no undershirt, and... <laughs> pants? I guess track pants, yeah, why not? <laughs> <clears throat> and he's the soul of the, of the band, literally, the soul. Cause, yeah, anyway. All right, so... And yes, he, he is very angrily looking for his drumstick bag, which has gone missing somehow during the trip. The last member of the, van, of the band gets out of the van. All right, so I climb out of the van, and uh, I'm wearing uh, cool sunglasses... Uh, a brown t-shirt and blue jeans, making it very hard to distinguish what genre of music I actually play. Also, I'm carrying an SG guitar, further making it confusing, because it really could be anything. It's not like a flying bee. So, uh, I hop out, uh, and in appearance, I look like a normal human male, brown hair, green eyes, about five foot seven. Um... So, I hop on out. All right, guys. I, we ready for the show tonight? I need sticks. Can you buy sticks? I, are they special sticks? We could cut a tree down. I, I need my bag. It would be useful. It's got to be in the car somewhere. Okay, well, let's go look in the car. All right. All right. I'm going <laughs> to need... Do that make such a separate skill, or is that just roll into awareness? It's awareness. Okay. Awareness okay. checks. I've got a one. six, and I roll... 17. So, 23. 21. Natural 12. High or low? Uh, high. So, as you are rooting around in the back of the van, um, you notice uh, something a little bit peculiar. Namely, an odd floating sensation, as though you were drifting down the river. Oh, dear. Boss, as you finish up your rhythmic playing, you look over and realize that you didn't do a very good job of tying the boat up. And by boat, I mean van. It's come unmoored and is floating down the river with your other bandmates in it. Okay. Um, By the way, all right, I, I'll just see again. What did you learn in awareness? Uh, 23. John? 21. Okay. Boss, you also now notice, oh, there's his bag. It was, uh, it somehow got mixed up in your bass bag. Uh, in, how, your, in, your tar, in your guitar bag. How far down river are they? Um, they just started floating there no more than like 30 feet out from you. And I'm going to throw a grappling hook at the van. <laughs> all right. Uh, so um, is that, that's a. Uh, that's a use rope check. 20 uh, with the plus two, so. Okay. A non natural 20. All right, so. An unnatural. Um, I'm yes. going to assume Finish. that you were up 20. front because <laughs> you didn't roll very well. Or okay. you were actually rolled decently. Also, but he's the front man. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to assume you were up front. Give me an awareness roll. Two. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so as it hits him in the head. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so you feel a grappling hook clock you upside the head, and that's when you realize you're floating down river. By the way, you take one point of damage. Okay. <laughs> it, it'll heal quickly. It's just non-lethal. <laughs> but um, you do now have a grappling hook in hand. Looking over, you can see Boss uh, tying the rope off, I presume, to the pier. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I rolled the 20, so I could also tie it to the pier. Yeah, so um, I guess you start... Trying to reel the van back in. <laughs> also, I complain about the basis. Stupid basis. As soon as I figure out what his name is, I'm going to tell him off. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so I guess I'm going to try to pull the van back. To the Give me a strength roll. <laughs> 17 plus my incredible strength. Uh, yeah. So basically with the buoyancy, and, you know, you actually need to try. turn the van back on. You basically just kind of reel yourself in and pull up to the dock. And... Yeah, you have the van back and docked up. By this point, some sailors have noticed you guys and have come over to help tie the van off properly. I jump out. <laughs> yeah, I just I lay on the ground and I go, "Thank you, thank uh, you, thank you." Wait, we have to get on a boat again. So I kind of uh, so how tall are the sailors? Um, shorter than you. Okay, so I kind of like pat one of them on the head and I say, "Oh, that was really helpful, little buddy. If you want to come to our show later, it costs money, and we'd love to have some of that money." 
he just kind of glares at you and then gets back to tying the van, grumbling something about dumb imps. What a helpful guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So about this time, speaking of dumb imps, a uh, another imp, shorter than Boss, comes uh, striding over toward you guys. Um, he is a bit more um, elegantly dressed than the... I wouldn't, okay, not again elegantly, but better dressed than the other sailors. Um, the sailors are human. He is an imp, but it looks like... like Does he look higher rank than them? Yes. Okay. Does he look um, like a fop? Not quite a fop. Do, is, okay. Does his hair have that chalk in it? Like, is it a wig? No. Oh. Okay. But um, he, he strides over. Ah, you must be the other band. Well, we're, we prefer to go by what, but uh, we did go by the name the other band before we decided on what. Well, <laughs> it, it, and then we kept, well, for a while it was actually what other band? And then, then we, we just shortened it because it was too long. And yeah. then we shortened it again to the other half of it. Yeah, because... <laughs> You should see our recipes for cooking. All I have to say is, if you've got our vinyls, God bless you. <laughs> he he just kind of nods. Anyway, uh, he extends a hand, I guess, to Art, or right, or rather to Kiwi. Kiwi, Captain uh, Lawrence Fishwell. I'm in charge of the Topeka Star. Hello, uh, Kiwi Sledge. I'm in charge of those two. Hi, Fosma Bava. I'm in charge of introducing myself, because otherwise no one else will. In any case... Can I pat him on the head? <laughs> he... Your int is higher than that. I guess you're just an idiot. I'm really that. charismatic. No, I like connecting with people. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, 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 you go for patting him on the head. Hey, there's no chalk. What a great guy. <laughs> he so doesn't he is manage to get out of the way, <laughs> okay. and he just... He doesn't really know how to respond to this. This is not something that comes up in captain school. But um, he, he just kind of shakes his head a little bit. Well, do you boys have everything you need, or do we need to uh, unload more of your luggage? I just need the rest of my kit, which I... Well, we need our amps, or do they have amps on board? Yeah, that's a good question. All right, hey, manager, <laughs> do we need to bring amps, or do they have amps? Well, they're a little soaked, so... We'll bring them, and we'll shake them out real good first. Why would they be soaked? They were in the van. <laughs> Everything in the van's a little <laughs> soaked. That's how water physics works. Oh. Um, you guys would know that you don't really need your amps for this gig. That was okay. You also threw a grappling hook you. through a windshield and hit me with it. I'm really good at certain <laughs> things. We have a very steep repair cost already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, we'd yeah. like to be comped for this. He, he just... Just... You, you can take Your it Your directions with... were really bad. Like, Boss was like, no, no, you have to take a left here. And Kiwi was like, but that's a river. And he was like, no, you have to take the left. And so we took the left and then floated here. Apparently some of the roads on your map are blue, but the rivers are also blue. So you can understand our confusion. Now, the other blue roads were also a lot like rivers, but I would describe them more as brooks. You could tell by the babbling. And not just mine, his too. Yeah. Also, they were shallow enough we could drive through. I'll get our director of entertainment to talk to you about all of this. Cool. Anyway, can I, I, just... can I ready an action? Yes, Joe. What do you want to ready an action to do? Okay. When this guy walks away, I want to point to the nearest windshield that we think we could use to replace the one in our van. I'd be like that. <laughs> that one. Okay. <laughs> so noted. I would like to point out, Joe, you don't have to ready actions unless you're actually in combat. You can just say, we are I in do combat. this. We're well, always I'll, in combat. I'll forget by the time that you're done to say that. We're in combat you for You haven't even souls. been drinking. What's your... Or how, you drank at dinner, didn't you? Yeah, but not much. No, okay. I, I just won't remember. Like I'm I said, so excited we're, about we're in game. combat with our souls. We're constantly in combat. Okay. Yeah, that's the source of our Anyway, music right. um, he finishes... He just says... Anyway, I just wanted to welcome you to the Topeka Star, the Star of Topeka, and I hope you enjoy your time with us. See you on board. And he turns and walks off. What At a which nice point... man. I agree. So, we're going to take that windshield? Yeah, my that one. See, I missed it. <laughs> That's why I, I, I read it. I knew I should have taken that class on breaking when I was, was breaking. <laughs> when I was still in school. Okay. So, 
Are you guys seriously going to go steal someone's windshield? Not until after the game. Later. Yeah, well, we're just going to pop off a quick windshield and stick it on the van once we're done. Technically, yeah. that's going to be uh, Boss's job since he has trap finding. Okay. But uh, he has to find the car alarm and shut it off. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. What if we don't care about the car alarm? Yeah. No, you, you're still going to need that because that, that is more than a DC-20 disabled device to remove a windshield. Okay. okay. And keep it intact, so that would fall in Boss. Regardless, though... Um, so the, um, sailors basically unload the stuff you guys tell them to unload. I'm assuming you tell them what to unload and not just expect them to take everything out of the van. I let him do that. He's the manager. Okay, uh, I manage them correctly. Okay. I manage to keep Ish. an eye on my drone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and they take it on board. It seems like they already know which room you guys are heading to. Um, if you follow them... Then uh, at the top of the gangplank, a steward meets you and, sa and says, Welcome on board, gentlemen. I'll show you to room 13. That is the uh, suite you'll be staying in. I thought most boats don't have a room 13. Yes, well, the Star of Topeka is less inclined to superstition than other vessels. So what you're saying is we're going to die. Can I ready an action? <laughs> <laughs> When we get to the door, I want to create the illusion of an additional digit so we're not in room 13 because that's unlucky. It can be 113? Yeah, it can be like 213. Okay. Well, then we're going to get the floor confused. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> what, what if I had a... 135. Yeah, I'll add a 5 at the end. There you go. Okay. okay there we go. Um, that won't cause us to run around the boat like so, 10 times. But it will confuse our enemies. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do we have a marker or something? Star of Topeka. And this is not going to be to scale. This is just to kind of give you an idea of... The layout. So basically, it's you know ba three and a half levels. Uh, the bridge sits on top of the central uh, box thingy, essentially. Um, the the main deck floor is divided into two parts, sort of a restaurant level and a theater slash other amusement. Do they have level. soul food in the restaurant? Yes. Excellent. Um, and there are a and there are a couple of spiral staircases that lead down to the passenger level. Um, which is where we are. Yeah, which is where you are. The bridge sits above the uh, stage. Um, so the so, so can are watch the, us rock. Are the levels concentric then? So um, like... Basically, the... the, the uh, like, basically, the uh, cargo hole and the passenger floor take up the same amount of space. Gotcha. But basically, the way that the passenger floor is laid out is there are two hallways... Um, and the state rooms are on the, uh, main halls. And just judging by the way that the doors are spaced, they're probably about 20 by 20 rooms. Wow. Those are stately rooms. Uh, room 13 is about here, on the side where all the rooms are 10 by 10. Oh, good. Oh. Well, that's... I guess we get to cuddle tonight. That's yeah. very evenly divisible by five. Yeah. Um, basically, um, there are two bathrooms on each hall. One for men, one for women, and they contain shower showers and uh, like actual toilets. The rooms are too small to really accommodate bathrooms, okay. so basically anyone who's got one of these rooms uses so these. It's a dorm. Basically, ah, uh, the men's room. That's a room for me, unless it's. If not. you wanted a private bathroom, you really should have uh, sprung for the uh, state rooms. Did we have the opportunity? To I do thought that? that they were paying us to come. Yeah, I thought this. they comped our room. Hey, manager, yeah, did yeah. you turn down the opportunity to cut into our checks so we wouldn't have to share a bathroom with strangers? Well, the fact of the matter is, usually the women's room is pretty clean, and since I'm a shapeshifter, this is more your problem than mine. Basma Bava is not amused, <laughs> but impressed. <laughs> this is why this man is our manager. <laughs> but you yeah. know what? I'll just hit anybody who comes in the bathroom, yeah. so whatever. <laughs> I yeah. can use create. I mean, like illusion. I said, there are multiple stalls, you know, both toilet and shower. You so create illusions there is in all some the rest of the stalls of so that nobody else uses the other yeah. ones. Okay, so uh, so so I burned one of my spell points. Are we at the door to our room yet? Yeah, you're at you're at your room now. So I have burned one spell point. Uh, okay. On the on the door to make it room one thirty five. All right. So walking to room one thirty five, you guys see. Um, you know, one twin bed and kind of a small desk with, you know, kind of a cheap chair and that's really about it. Floor. Bed. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a jar. <laughs> All the bed. 
<laughs> I, I, can, I, this uh, isn't fair. So I go ahead and I grab uh, his guitar strap. Uh, I grab uh, two extra guitar straps and I hang them from the ceiling and make myself a nice little like makeshift hammock thing. I'm just chilling, hanging from the ceiling. All right, what go is... ahead and give me a use rope roll on that one. Oh, everything's a freaking rope in this game. You keep tying things. Eighteen. Plus okay. Two. No, that's oh, it's sixteen that's plus two. two. Okay, it, it, it's able to hold your weight pretty well. Um, I'm not sleeping not most... under him. Duly noted. It's not the yeah, most you don't have a lot of choice. Dead room. Um, I will sleep under the bed if I have to. The the steward just kind of looks at you. Would would you guys like a cot or something? Nah, I'm good. Hold on, can I tie the cot to the ceiling? Do, you're doing Made. pretty well on your I'm doing, Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, let's get the cot. How much? Wait, manager, does that cost me money? The the cot is complimentary. Oh, cool. I love compliments. Take the cot. <laughs> All Take right, the cot, you don't leave want the, the cot then. Wait. What? Huh? I want the cot. Okay. Yay. Okay. Sorry, got confused there. Take the cot, leave the cannoli. Yes. He um, comes back a little bit later with a cot for you guys. Anyway, um, if you gentlemen, you, you gentlemen have free access to the ship, um, and rehearsal is tonight, and the show's tomorrow night. So, good luck to you. And, and he goes to off you. to meet more passengers. This is probably as good of a time as any for us to try to sell some albums. Did we bring Man. albums to sell? Of course. What else would be in this box? Okay. <laughs> so, so, um, are we? Do we have a table where we're supposed to be selling the albums? I have wood. <laughs> <laughs> you, can we craft it? Okay. I, Give I, me a craft wood. Hold on, hold on. I have, I have, uh, I have craft base and craft costume, so I could make a table costume out of the lumber he brought. For the shapeshifter to wear, and then the shapeshifter can essentially carry the table around on its back. I don't right? think we want a talking, moving anthropomorphic table. <laughs> I think that might How not sell How is that not records. the coolest thing? That's so freaking metal. I think we should all do our own metal. All I know is whoever... everybody will know our band's name because they'll go what when they see that. So. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> also, can we have the talking, moving anthropomorphic table on our next album cover? Because I think that's super awesome. Let's let's write that down. Actually, that sounds yeah. quick. Okay. okay, I'll put that in my idea inventory. Okay. <laughs> idea inventory. <laughs> Yeah. It's just the inventory because I forgot to fill it in. Good yeah. Job. So, uh, just just as a quick aside, do you guys actually have a name for your first album? The other album. <laughs> but what's the first one? The other one. <laughs> the other one. The one before that is no. Seriously, I can't. No. Hear what's the you. other? No. No. He, no. No. That's the thing. Is is they ask what's the other album, and they ask you that, and I go, oh, it's this one, and they go, oh, that's the other album. Yep. <laughs> you want to buy both? Excellent. We, I'm very charismatic. Okay. Let's, right. let's do it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so are you going to put a table together? Uh, I don't have craft woodworking. What do you uh, have? Wait, well, I was going to ask drums. if the manager oh. had a book to... Do we, is there like a band land table or... Like? Um, no, it's just one of those things. Like, there are a couple passenger lounges. One's up on deck. There's one located, like, at the front of the, like, stateroom area. Um, and you probably could just set something up in, like, the restaurant or the, uh... Is there a lectern we can steal? Why Give don't... me an awareness check. Why don't we put them on the cot and then roll the cot around? We haven't gotten the cot yet. 21. You, you've gotten the cot. Yeah, we've, we've gotten the cot. We've got right, the cot. so we take the mattress off the cot and just use the... Cot. No. No, oh, like, like the, the idea is it. that I just lay on the cot and that you just, like, you just lay all the albums on top of me and I'd be like, hey... See anything you like? So we sell albums. <laughs> I can't push him. I'm not yeah. strong enough. I'm strong as death, but I'm kind of the front man, so I well, don't there's know. Well, there's wheels on the cot. I might be above pushing you, though. I'm still <laughs> looking for a lectern to steal from Okay, me. yeah, so you find your way to the auditorium area. There is a stage there. Um, and poking around backstage, you actually do find a, le a lectern. And um, with that awareness roll, you actually overhear from one of the uh, backstage, like, dressing rooms... Richard, look, I don't know why you're so adamant about all of this. It'll be fine. No one's going to cause any trouble. Look, all I'm saying is that we just, you need to be careful. There's, there's a lot of guys that are unhappy with the stances you've been taking lately. It will be fine as a door swings open and a uh, 
rather a thin elf, uh, elf woman comes uh, striding out. I roll for initiative. Are you You're there? not even there. Yeah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> you have initiative against the con, I guess. Yeah. What did he roll? Uh, six plus dex, so eight. <laughs> Never mind. The cot beat you on initiative. I thought, I thought that we Hold were all here. there. I, I didn't realize we had separated. Yes, the cot totally wins initiative. I thought you. that we were all listening. No, no I ran off to get a lecture and oh. you guys were screwing around with the cot. Well, I wasn't... Oh. Pay more attention, dude. So a woman came out, but there's no Richard. Um, I mean, he's probably in the room she was in. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> Can I get by you? She, uh, just, uh, sure, are you supposed to be back here? I mean, I'm one of the band members. Oh, you're that other band. No, we're what? Oh. The other band is our old name. Oh. No, O is a different band. Yeah, O is that other band. They're in Indianapolis. <laughs> they're, they're the one. Yeah, they're the ones with that new album, Third Base. Oh, I love O. <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, sure, I, I guess just... if you're looking for Richard, um, I'll just slip on by you. She says as she slips on by you and walks on. Hmm. Strange lady. Go ahead and give me a diplomacy roll. Woo! Nailed it. 19. Okay, duly noted. All right, so um, I, you actually go in and look in on the room she was in? Yes. 